Hello friend, this is Anand and in this video I'll be talking about Inkwell and Ink Response. So uh, before starting the video, uh, let me tell you something. You can get the code from GitHub and link for GitHub is uh, below in the description. And please subscribe the channel, hit the bell icon to get regular update and please comment about the video. So let's start. So here you see a simple code. It's just a stateless widget that we have created and this we have used a material app. In the home of material app, we are calling a stateful widget. Inside the stateful widget, we have a scaffold with a sca uh, app bar and the body section, we are showing a simple text uh, inside a column which is centered. So now we have used a variable counter that is int counter and that's value in a slice to zero that is what it is showing on the screen and now inside this column what i'll be uh, using uh, what i'll be doing i'll be creating a button and uh, i'll show you how a button looks and uh, what we can do with the inkwell and the ink response so let me create a raised button here So with raised button you need to provide a child and inside the child you can write something like you can provide a text. So let me give uh, here click me okay that's fine with raised button we have one mandatory thing that is on press so let me uh, with on press we need to write a function so I'll be incrementing the value of counter so let me do counter plus plus further i'll be calling set state uh, because i uh, as we have changed oh. okay so this is set state now if i hot reload it so we'll see a button here now if I click it and it, it is increasing the value of number so let me once format it so this is how raised button work and uh, it's uh, we have default rectangular size we can't change it anymore so to get a new look and feel of the button you can always use inkwell or ink uh, response widget uh, uh, that makes any child widget to act like as a button so let me show you how we can use the inkwell so with the inkwell we have child so inside the child i'll be providing icon so i'll be making this icon as a button act as a button account circle okay uh, let me give a size to it mm, because icon size is very small let it be 65.0 okay and let me give a color to it that's fine and uh, uh, we have given the child now there is uh, like on tap gest uh, gesture so with the on tap we can provide a function so yeah so here what we'll do we'll do counter plus plus and we'll call the set state and I see an error here because yeah that's fine now let's hot reload it and you see a counter here and if I click it it's increasing 
uh, you see a rectangular box generated here so by default inkwell highlights in a rectangular box uh, ink response like inkwell is a type of ink response whereas ink response highlights in a circular manner whereas ink well uh, uh, creates a rectangular highlight now uh, these are the two options which we have used uh, these are the two properties that is on tap and child suppose you want to make a container so we can use a container here or if you want to make some text as a clickable so we can uh, like make that text as a clickable let's see other properties of inkwell so we have uh, splash color so currently i think the splash color that you was uh, it was not properly visible so let me give it a color a different color so color Let me use uh, light green ASIN hot reload it and if you see you can see that splash is uh, coming in green color still this border is uh, like uh, that button is acting on a rectangular pattern so and the highlighted color is of gray by default which we can also change it so let me change the highlighted color oh. so we have highlighted color and let me make it So let's give a deep purple color here. Now we have given the highlighted color deep purple. So this splash color will not be visible because uh, the highlighted color overrides this splash color. So what we can do uh, with this is so that highlighted color is also visible whereas splash color is also there. So what you can do, uh, we can uh, have one more property that is with opacity and let us provide it 0.5 so what it will make it will make the highlighted color uh, uh, partial uh, partially transparent so now you see a uh, highlighted color as well as this plus color going along with the highlighted color uh, if you want to check some other option so we have radius this radius is of the splash color so if i uh, give uh, let me give radius so let me make it uh, uh, 5.0 although this splash color is not uh, properly visible so what i can do i can make this some of some other color let it be pink isn't yeah so that and let's make this instead of light green let's take some darker color so let it be okay let's make indigo yeah so now you can see that the very small dot appears and uh, so the radius of uh, this splash color is 5 and we can change here the radius and accordingly the splash color radius will change so let me show you so now the radius has been changed to 35 so it will grow till 35 and if I make it to like uh, we can change it whatever you want uh, now let's check out some other option so uh, this is border radius so as of now uh, it's a rectangle that is being uh, the highlighted background created as a rectangular so we can change it so let me okay it was 
uh, if I make it circular okay so after hot reload you can see that the border now the highlighted border which is created now is of 45 radius so that looks more nice as compared to earlier and its click value is also working in that area only you know it 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 uh, yeah so uh, this is how you can uh, draw an attractive mm, button uh, now uh, let me go up to ink response so ink response has almost all the same characteristics and what if we don't provide this few things that is the radius the border radius and let other thing work is as it is so uh, with ink well the uh, uh, splash color was created on to the rectangular region but with ink response it creates on the circular region so this is the difference between ink response and ink uh, ink response and ink uh, this ink well so uh, let us check out some uh, other option so we have uh, uh, contained ink well so uh, there is one thing that can be changed uh, suppose uh, with contained ink well we make it false and that splash color radius we want to make it greater than uh, like size of this icon so let's make it 95 so you'll see that when I click on this button so it's creating a bigger splash here so it's going outside of the ink well and now if I make it true here so uh, this splash will not go outside of this outside of this uh, container yeah so this is the difference between inkwell and ink response uh, like so that's all for the today video and um, uh, please comment and subscribe the video thanks